Mandarin Grammar with Chen Lao Shi Wu. Da jia hao. Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Mandarin Grammar. This time we're going to talk about verb object phrases. These are basically verbs followed by objects that contribute to one meaning. Let's look at an example. Kan shu. Kan shu is a verb object phrase. It's made up of one verb, kan, and one object, shu. The verb kan means to see, and the object shu means book. These two words together make up a verb object phrase that means to read. Another great example is 吃饭 Our verb is 吃 which means to eat, and our object is 饭 which means food. Together, 吃饭 is a verb object phrase that means to eat. Sometimes you have to split verb object phrases. For example, I could say, 我看一本书 I read one book. We can see here that our verb is 看 and the object is 书 The number 一 and the measure word 本 have to go before the object because they are showing how many objects we have. This will split the verb object phrase 看书 but that's totally okay. Let's look at another example. I could say 我吃了午饭 I ate lunch. Here we're adding more information about the food that I'm eating. 了 shows that I've completed my meal, and 午饭 shows that the meal is lunch. Again, we had to split the verb object phrase 吃饭 to provide more information, but that's completely fine. Remember that 了 can go after the whole phrase as well. 我吃午饭了 This has the same meaning. I ate lunch. If you need some review about how to use the word 了 to show completed action, you can check out the video below. And that's a wrap on verb object phrases. Be sure to check out the interactive activity below, and remember that you can rewatch this video at any time if you need to. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. 再见